The results of the recent primary election show that Warren Evans is likely to be the next Wayne County executive, but today Evans was on the stand as an expert witness in a civil lawsuit, and he called the firing of a Wayne County jail employee ludicrous. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo has been digging into their case for two years now, and she joins us now live. And Heather, it sounds like Evans took the county to task today. Yes, he did. Warren Evans telling the jury here at Wayne County Circuit Court that he's never seen anyone in the sheriff's department fired for something like this, and he called the investigation into Renee Newell much ado about nothing. Well, to me, that's ludicrous. Former Wayne County Sheriff Warren Evans testified in a high profile whistleblower lawsuit today, serving as an expert witness for Renee Newell. Newell is suing Wayne County, alleging Sheriff Benny Napoleon fired her from her job as director of jail compliance because she blew the whistle on one of Napoleon's top guys, Jeriel Hurd. In my opinion, the times in the investigation are directly related to each other. Back in 2012, Newell reported to her boss that she had been told Chief Hurd had improperly hired a woman named Tiffany Burgess. The next day, Internal Affairs started investigating Newell. Sheriff Napoleon says he later fired Newell for violating jail policy by talking to her brother on the phone when he was locked up and for similar infractions. I think there was some fundamental unfairness uh, in the way uh, that it was approached, but even having said that, the violations that I saw and the violations that I understand from 35 years of having worked in the sheriff's office at every rank are not violations that anybody's ever been investigated for in my lifetime. I thought about that later on and I'm like, uh-uh. Caught up in nothing. Right, that's it. Isn't it pretty clear that Ms. Newell is trying to circumvent the phone system? The policy about the phone system? No. What's clear from this is she's trying her best to balance two worlds, the love of her brother, and stay within the confines of the jail rules. Doesn't it concern you at all that an individual in such a high position could be influenced as she is, obviously, by her brother? What concerns me is the amount of energy and impetus put in much ado about nothing related to this woman. Now, this had to be a bit awkward for the county lawyers who are working to defend this lawsuit. They essentially had to cross-examine the man who's likely to become their boss after the November election. But his testimony definitely seemed to hurt the county's defense. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it, Heather. Thank you.